Uh, I'm Liz from Arrow Acres and I am here at Arrow Acres Alpaca Farm, my parents' alpaca farm. Um, I'm dressed like it's like two below zero, but it's not. It's like 34 degrees today. <laughs> That's okay. Um, so I wanted to show you a little bit about what a day at the farm is like. Um, I took some footage this weekend when we did our herd health. So I'll show you all of that, but this is our regular day to day. So my mom and I, Monday through Friday, do this, and my dad and I do this on the weekends. So my mom has already come through and fed everybody. I have a quick video of me feeding the other day. Come on guys, breakfast. That's their food. Oh, you fogged up my camera. Some of these guys eat too fast. So we put a um, big rock in it, and it makes them have to work around it, so they don't choke. Hi. They each get their own little food bucket. Oh, it's really fogged up my lens. Let's fix that. Guys are sharing and they'll all move around. And that's the green. And then we give them fresh hay and fresh water every day. And that's feeding in the morning. And same thing happens at night on our farm. Some farms only feed once a day. Uh, some farms don't feed green. Everybody's different. Depends on how good your pasture is. Uh, obviously, middle of winter. Well, you can't see out there, but we don't have any good pasture right now. So, they get good hay, which we just got shipped in from Oregon. Nice and green. Really nice. So, we had a really, t it was a tough year for hay in the Northeast. Uh, so, the hay selection has been terrible. But we found a new hay guy, and he got us some of this, and the alpaca seemed to be liking it. So, that's that. Feeding is done. And now um, we'll do hay and water, give everybody fresh hay and water, and we will clean. So alpacas have communal poop areas. So I'll, not that you really want to see poop, but you're going to see it anyway. So right out there, this crew's a little messy, right girls? A little messy. So they poop generally in the same area. And then we will rake it up, and we have buckets, and then we put it in the golf cart. Um, generally they have one in the pen close to the barn and then they have one or two out in the field and Ziggy's going to the bathroom for us over there. How appropriate. Um, so we have our, our field set up so that our little sheds back there have two pastures. We can have them all together or we can separate them. This group we have separated because this girl is a little bit of a beast. And she thinks they're all her girlfriends. So we don't want their fleeces getting messed up. Um, anyway, so we have our tools that we use. I'll show you. Our very fancy rakes. So we have a big rake, a little rake. It's hard to do with one hand here. Here, this. There. Big rake, little rake, blue pooper scooper. And then we use these big green tubs. Ta-da! And once we clean that pasture, we dump them in the back of our golf cart. So we refer to, you've heard and seen our golf cart on many episodes when my dad's driving past. But this is our golf cart. We call it Scrappy. He's still decked out for Christmas, but that's okay. 
and we fill the back up every single day. And then we have a big manure pile, which if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen me getting stuck, getting to pretty often lately. Um, so this is our regular routine. So we take the big rake, rake it into a smaller pile, get the little rake and the pooper scooper and scoop it up. It takes us about 15 minutes per barn. Uh, and then we go to the next one. So, there you have it. Another really important um, thing that we have to do with the alpacas, because we live in New Jersey, is give them an ivermectin injectable shot every month. So, our alpacas are exposed to white-tailed deer. So we are in the Northeast, there's white-tailed deer here. The white-tailed deer carry a parasite called the meningeal worm, which is fine for the deer, uh, doesn't bother them, but it is deadly to the alpacas. So if they ingest it, we give them a shot of ivermectin once a month, and it kills any of the meningeal worm that they may have ingested over the month. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a little bit of how we do that. bring them in so we're in a smaller space makes them easier to catch because alpacas generally don't like to be touched but we do this once a month so they get used to it a little bit so the reason well let's see I talked about meningeal worm because the deer carry them but I didn't say what the meningeal worm does to an alpaca it doesn't hurt them. so <clears throat> the meningeal worm Shot. yep sure here yeah. So let's see. It's real simple. We do it up on the front shoulder. Like I said, the ivermectin protects against that meningeal worm. So the meningeal worm goes to their. You want to explain it? It's a parasite that goes. It goes to their brain, right? It goes to their. Yeah. It goes into their spinal column if it gets past, and it goes to their brain. It paralyzes them. Once and it, and you can treat them if they get it, not, but. Want you, to you don't want to have to treat them because no. once they get it it's pretty hard to get them back they'll always have like a little paralysis i think using the ivermectin every month makes it so that the ivermectin doesn't work for stomach worms anymore so we have to use other wormers for other internal parasites i know it's a lot of mumbo jumbo gum yeah stay on top of this stuff but yep. we keep, keep some healthy and another reason it's she's gonna nice have a baby yep she's pregnant so they even get it when they're pregnant and they get it when they're babies too. Um, so another nice thing about doing herd health once a month is we get our hands on them. We can score them. So I'm not going to do it to her because she's pregnant and she really doesn't want to be touched right now. Um, but I'm going to show you with somebody else. We can. It's tough to see because they have so much fleece on them. Sure, she does not like getting shots. Sure, she doesn't like getting shots. She's also pregnant, so she will and holler a little it. bit. But you'll see how quick We're it just is. Quick and efficient, right, honey? <coughs> yeah, I know. I know. Oh, your fleece is looking beautiful, honey. So when they're not happy, they will spit. Don't aim her at me. <laughs> <laughs> Good girl. Oh. <laughs> well done. Uh, so, like you saw, the first one didn't care. She just stood there. Uh, Winnie will probably. We call her Winnie because she. She squeaks. She's very gentle and sweet, but she usually hollers. Wait. You holler? Oh, you're not gonna holler. Wow, your fleece looks good. She's long. gonna be hard. They have long, long, long fleece right now. Yeah. So all this cold weather is no problem for them. Yeah, we're in the middle of a polar vortex right now. Yeah, it's all the 14 degrees out. Yeah, it's cold. You can see my nose and my cheeks. It's nice cold. And warm. Okay, so. Who's left? 
Um, Ellie. Ellie. So, one more girl here. Five more barns to go. Yes, and now, so we have run-in sheds. Um, let's see. You can see they're not real big, but they're big enough. We have them separated into two sides, so we can close them off. This green panel right here is called a crea pen, or a creep feeder. And the doorway, uh, if I back up, this is the opening. So the big moms can't go in, but the babies can fit. So then nobody, they have food in there, and, and um, the moms can't eat it. These shots are sub Q, which means you're going just under the skin in between. You pull the skin away and there's that. It doesn't go into the muscle, it doesn't go into anything. You put it in right in between. As you can see. You so, you that was one whole barn. It doesn't hurt. I'm at seven minutes, and for the first two minutes we were outside playing with treasure. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. And her baby. So, I'm going to show you some others and I'm going to show you some fleece. Um, when we get into the other barn, the next barn, we have our national champion. So she's still here on the farm. We did sell her, but she's still here. So I want to show you her fleece and show you some really good fleece shots. Okay. See you in a little bit. Oh, Treasure's being shy. Hold on. Treasure, look. Say hi, everybody. She loves us. Yes. I tell her not to tell everybody, but she's my favorite. Oh my goodness. Hello. And her baby's really nice too. He is. He's super friendly, just like you. Okay, on to the next one. Yeah, most alpacas don't like being pet, but she doesn't mind. Right? And she gives kisses. Oh, checking out my hat today. Got a pom pom on today. I usually wear a headband, but. <sighs> it's headband day today. Okay, I'm gonna flip this around. I'm gonna kind of show you a little bit of uh, our barn, what the outside looks like. So on this side of the farm, we have three of these nice little running sheds. These are the backs of them. You can see on this one, it has the porch. And then you can kind of see, I'll show you over here. We put up this clear uh, corrugated plastic every year for the winter and it blocks the wind. And we are south facing here. So it's always nice and sunny and it blocks the wind because it's usually coming from the north. And uh, yeah, it's a really nice setup. So if you're planning a farm, think about these things. Think about where you are, uh, which way the wind comes in, where your sun is. It's really nice. So we have little tack rooms, little feed rooms here. Just enough for hay and bucket of feed and a garbage can or tools. There's our scale that we can weigh them. So depending on injections that they're getting, so maybe we have to treat them for parasites, um, we can weigh them. And we have an exact dosage. Where am I going? You're coming out here just okay. to give you the idea. It's so zero and... Oh yeah, well I was so just talking about our plastic. About, yeah, well talking? we have so there's our a bucket of ice, bucket of ice. Solid, and we have heated waters. Yes, so we Spoils. keep out fresh water. Spoils us and the old And we have heated waterers. As my mom says, we're very spoiled the to best, have these. The best thing ever. It's a Nelson heated waterer. Automatic waterer. Automatic. And it's automatic waterer. Yeah. We Nelson. like them. No hoses. Free. All right, girlfriends. We're going to go check out the other little yeah. girls here. So I'm going to try to put in a couple pictures. She had a clogged tear duct, and we have an awesome new vet, Dr. Mazur. Thank you, Dr. Mazur. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> and she came out and did a little procedure on her cleared. and cleared her eye right up. So we are so happy. She's, what is she, two? Uh, yes. Ziggy? So Ziggy's two. So we let it try to clear on its own, but it was, um, this yeah, it didn't, she didn't have the drain hole up in her sinuses, like up in her nose for her tear duct, so. This is a farm favorite. This yeah, is this butter is Peanut Dickens. Butter Dickens. This is another one who likes to be pet. Um, 
She doesn't mind a little love. She likes a little scratch on her neck. She actually enjoys it. Right? See, she leans in like and a dog. she's got beautiful fleet. See, she doesn't run away when we're holding her. Everybody loves Peanut. <laughs> so Peanut was born the day before Farm Day. So if you've been here for Farm Day, you know how crazy it is. She was born the afternoon before Farm Day. So we put out a jar for suggestions. Hey, Dig. And we had people give suggestions for names. And the number one suggestion was Peanut because she was tiny and she was full of the Dickens. I wonder, oh, I don't know if I still have the video. But she, she was 10 minutes old and she was running and jumping and it was crazy. So she we kept saying she was up. full of the Dickens and my sister Andy's nickname as a kid was Peanut Butter Dickens. So, Peanut Butter Dickens she is. All right, here's May. Oh, it's nice and bright where you're standing. That's good. Is it bright enough? We can take her outside. Um, no, I think it's bright in here. Okay. So we're going to give her her shot. So it's a little tougher now that they have uh, so full fleece. Got to find and it. Got to dig. So then my mom has to just pull up the skin a little bit. And she puts the needle in just under the skin, like she said, not in the muscle. And then she gives her the medicine. So we rub it. Rub it. Rub, rub it, it. Rub it. it around. Okay. Let's so, go outside. Okay. We're going to go outside. Okay, we're gonna get in the nice sunlight. So now this is Mayfair. We co-own her with our friends Sue and Wayne from Emily Alpacas. No, we don't. We don't own her at all. Oh well, <laughs> did. Our, our, and our friends Jen and Ian Lutz up at Cascadnac Farm in Vermont just purchased her. So we are going to show you. Uh, you're right in the shadow. You're making a shadow. Why don't you stand on this side? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go down. So this. This is what we're looking for. See how bright and shiny that is? And, and the length and the crimp. It looks like somebody took a crimper to it. I mean, it's just crazy shiny. And the bundling, yeah. So these tight little bits that almost look like French fries, see? These skinny little bundles. It's and what the makes it good is when it's just like this. Everywhere. Everywhere. So now open her up somewhere else. Let's see. Up here. It's up She's here. Going up here. She has it down here. She has it down her legs. She has it up here by the oh, ears. Oh, this way. Look at up by the top of her head. She's got it there. See? It's everywhere. And there's Peanut looking for love. Yeah. <laughs> So, so she's a sweetie pie, too. Yeah. We love Meg. She's so going to make beautiful babies. And her mom is up at um, Emily Salpacas being rebred to her, this one's father. So we're making, hopefully, another one. Mother. Hopefully a full sister. I do peanut. Whoops, kids. Hey, peanut. peanut. I do peanut. Hi. So peanut's the one I was scratching in my video the other day. It's carrot day today. She loves it. Hopefully we'll have visitors and they feed them carrots. They'll be she's, very happy. So this one's kind of extra friendly because she wants to have a baby. But she's yeah. always been, she's always no, been friendly, but... Oh, she's so sweet. She's so sweet. So, I'm going to show you the outside of the barn. I don't think I really showed you it from this side. So here's their little overhang. And like I said, we have it separated into two sides. So, oh. We can close the doors. We can close just the top half of the door, the, the full door. And then we also have these gates right here. So we call this their pen. We have not cleaned in here yet today, gross. But we will do that next. Oh, ice. So we call this uh, the pen. And this is like a catch pen area. We can close this off, have them in here. Sorry, I'm going back and forth a lot. It makes it easier. You saw we push them right into the barn. There's not too much resistance from the animals because they are used to us and we handle them a lot. Like you saw, we just put May on a halter. Um, we halter train all of our babies. Uh, all right, that's it in here. Wrong side. This way, Mono. So while I was in here feeding before, I forgot to lock them in the catch pen. Whoopsies. So now we have to get them all in. Which most of them are in, except for these two knuckleheads. Come on, Mono. Go ahead, go with your friends. Go ahead, Wishy. Go ahead, Wishy. Go on in. Go on in. Go on. 
In you go, buddy. No, wrong way. So this is what I was talking about with the catch pens. See? And like I said, most of ours are pretty easy to handle. There's a few on the farm who don't want to cooperate, but now we've got them in this area and then we will push them inside. So if we have to do anything to them, treat them, we can. Red Solo Cup has a whole different meaning for alpacas. <laughs> yeah, Red Solo Cup on Drugs. Heart Health Day is, <laughs> there, is that's where we keep our medicines and she marks what barn they're in. Yeah. No alcohol. Good. In, your, in your house, boys. Hi, baby. So I'm going to show you some colors in here once we're done with uh, the shots. So my dad now has a mono who is light rose gray. So I want to show you his color. Oh my goodness. Okay. I rub it to spread the medicine all around in case you're wondering why I do that. Okay, so can you open that up? Sure. So this is light rose gray. So when you think of like an oatmeal gray sweater, like That's cinnamon this. toast. Now you can compare this to the last fleece I showed you. That had this all the... one is not as bright. This one is not as well, yeah, yeah. Um, doesn't have the and it's crimp. not as crimpy. However, it's but, very fine. Yes, yeah, super and long. super fine and long. So he will make awesome awesome yarn. Hey, yeah. Oops, sorry. We will not use him for breeding though. Mm, we could, but we're never yeah. Gonna. We could, but we're not gonna. Mm. Um, we're very selective. We're trying to breed for. That last one that we showed. Yeah. This is Golzeb. He's the one with the blue eyes um, that everybody comments on in the pictures. And most people say, oh, I love the brown and white one. See, there's that blue eye. Um, but he is not brown and white. He is also rose gray. So. Which basically is brown and white, yeah. technically. Which, but he is... Why it's called gray? That's a yeah. It should be like in, in other animals, it would be called roan. Roan, yeah. Which I think makes a lot um, more sense. So he's a medium rose gray. So the last guy you saw was that super light, heathery oatmeal color. Okay, so now this one, like I said, the last one was light, and this one is medium. Uh, hold on. Can you bring him this way a little bit in the light? This yeah, just pull up. Because it's really bright up on his neck. You can open his neck right here for the color. So see, just a little bit darker than the last one. Mm -hmm. A little bit more crimp than the last one. And again, a little, he's a little bit brighter and super soft. And all these guys won ribbons. Yeah, they, they all, all did were well in the, the show. Top, the front row, the top six in the shows. Mm -hmm. Just not okay. one or first And they second. are brothers. They have the same father. They have different moms. Wonderful disposition. Yeah, super they nice way. And this guy, so a lot of people would think he's brown, but he is also gray. Mm -hmm. So. See these guys, how they have a white face and the white neck? That's called classic gray or tuxedo gray. He has it, the color everywhere. He is a modern, so he is a dark modern rose gray. So. I don't know if you're gonna be able to. Yes, we can see, see it, yes. So it almost looks black in there, but here, keep that down, just keep your hands there. So see, see all the white fibers yeah. all through it. You see like all these light shiny fibers. Now see how shiny his is, like that, like maze. Looking oh, good, the, buddy. We're getting out of the sunlight. There we go. But you can see there's lots of light fibers in with those darks. So he is a dark oh. modern rose gray. Oh, we can show how we score them. We score them. One way to see you if the hold? weight is good, besides putting them on the scale, we go like this. On their back, right, their back. right between their shoulders. See the shape of my mom's hand between her thumb and her index finger? That's, That's perfect. <laughs> you want, we, we do it on a score of one to 10. This being one, this being 10. We've got some 10s. We tens. want right in the middle. <laughs> 10 means they're fat, he's one five, means they're skinny. Six. He's He's, so he's not, right where we want he's him. He's not skinny, but he's nice and healthy. Good. We Little like peanut we just showed, she's about a 10. <laughs> no. <laughs> she's a little no, chunky. she's not that bad, buddy. Yeah, this is Wish, this big guy here. So he's light, what is he, silver? Light silver? Light silver gray. So he's going to be similar to the first guy in here that I showed you, but he's silver. So instead of it being brown and white combination, it's he's gray and white. black and, and white. And his and white. fleece but has gotten 
better. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes they get worse as they get older, and sometimes they get better. This well, he has, has more. He's always been fine. Very, very fine. Yeah. So fine grays are heaven. And he that he always has, but he didn't have the greatest of... Crimp, he didn't have but, all the crimp, but now but his all of a sudden, pretty good. And I, that's pretty the first dense. time I've had that. Normally, they lose their crimp, and he gained it. Okay. So he's pretty dense. He was a late oh, more in the hi. crimp department. Hi, Zach. Oh, you're not a Zaka. You're a mono. Mm. Do you hear that hum? Um, so that's one of the sounds alpacas make. So you heard one kind of scream mm. before. And this little guy's humming. Mm. Oh, tell him why they hum. No, you tell them. You know why they hum? They don't know the words. <laughs> Dad joke. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> we have Willie B and Moolah. Okay. Now Moolah. And is this is Mo. It looks like he got spit on on the back of the head. Give me a move. Look at this now, little fleece. This fleece. Let's get him in some. Yeah, there in the light. So he has a lot of the same characteristics that May has. Oh, look See at those that. tight little bundles. All you alpaca breeders, look at this. It's amazing. It's a, he's he's looking good. He is looking good. So he there. is white and dirty. Yeah. <laughs> but My it's... lighting's not so good because we're inside here. And Lizzie keeps saying he's too skinny. He is. He is not. I know. <laughs> the other guys are giants. To the fat guys. They're not fat. They're he big. Me. I they, know. Up at the top there. He's not skinny. All right. Anyway. We check, check their parasite. I do check fecal. Some check on parasite loads. Make you feel better. I'll do another one. <laughs> I know this little guy is fine. He will. I wish you could I mean, feel not this. I wish you could feel it. Yeah. So his fleece feels buttery and silky um it almost feels greasy so alpacas do not have lanolin they don't um like a sheep does so you don't get that greasy touch that a uh, sheep does and his fleece feels like silk it's just and you can i mean he just has an unusual look on the outside apple tree you can go outside buddy so now we'll let the open the pen up and they can go out. And as you can see, they're not scared of us. Well, they're scared of him walking by with the bucket, but they want to be right with us. Azaka always wants to help. Okay. Right. I just want to say anybody that's ever considering having alpacas but they freak out when they hear that you have to give them a shot, everyone. You shouldn't freak out about it. It is so, so easy. If you can see this, it's really, it's no big deal. Anybody can do it. Yeah, and we've, we've sold alpacas and everybody who had to do it for the first time, no one has struggled. It's, you can see, it really. That's all it is. I know, it seems a little creepy. So if, if you seriously were thinking of it and you didn't want alpacas for that reason, you got to... It's easy. The first time I, my mentor farm had over 100 alpacas. So the very first day that I did shots, I gave shots to over 100. Talk about a crash course. Thank you, Randy Strong, wherever you are. <laughs> the farm manager at the farm taught me how to do it. We survived. It was, it was very, it was a little comical. It's a little creepy at first, but as you can see, three zillion shots later. <laughs> And I just want to show you smoke. So this big guy with the fluffy butt is smoke. Hi, smoke. Say hi to everybody. Say hi. So this is smoke. He's the daddy of a lot of those grays I was showing you in the last barn. So this is what we call apple tree barn. Oh, look how handsome he is. Look how nice he stands and fluffy and he is super dense and he has maintained his fineness and his structure um, they already gave him his shot so so easy going and there's the apple tree and that's why we call this the apple tree barn so that's the apple tree if you watched the episode when Lee embroidered her sweater um, and the did the apple blossoms that's her tree so we're done with Hurt health. Normally we would be done with chores, cleaning the pastures, but we drug it out today. 
my dad is gonna be on that. We're open at the store today. So I was wondering if you guys were wondering how we keep warm when it's zero degrees out, which basically was a couple days this week. Start with alpaca socks. Yep. I swear alpacas were put on earth. For, that was their main reason to keep your feeties warm. If you don't have a pair, you don't know what you're missing. And good boots. I wear bogs. We both wear bogs. So excellent, waterproof, warm, good to 30 below, something like that. And it must work because my feet are warm. Yeah. Insulated Carhartt overalls. Woohoo! Fashion a, statement we, happening here. I tell you. And our insulated, insulated Carhartt coats. Alpaca hat. I got half. Oh, look at, look at, look at. I got my. She has a I headband and headband a hat. And my hat. This I just have a hat on today, but I usually wear the headband. My hat is smoke yarn and oxen stone yarn. I made. I don't make much stuff, so. This is purchased from the store. Yeah. Oh, I don't have my gator on. Yeah, she usually, usually has a gator, gator on. on. Covering my nose. It's Anybody want an enough. RV? Kind of nice right now. You want that RV? Make an heat, offer. We're having a heat wave. It's, it's got to be almost 20, don't you think? Yeah, I th we're supposed to get up into 20 today. It was 14 when I got here. Alrighty, that's it. Okay, so that's what uh, Herd Health Day looks like. Once a month. Once a month. Um, and then toenails. Sometimes we have to clip toenails. Yeah, we should have clipped toenails today, it but too it's too cold. cold. Their, their toes to would be too hard. Their toenails are just like our fingernails. Um, we like to do it when it's after it's rained because they're softer. It's easier. Um, and what else? I mean, and then we just clean pasture. So we rake. They have communal um, manure piles within the field, and. We just rake it up and then we have a big poop pile which is in my Instagram videos a lot. Yesterday it was in them. Anyway, it's really, really sunny right here. Okay, so that's herd health on an alpaca farm. Um, if you want alpacas, if you don't have 50, it takes you a couple minutes. Although it used to take my parents just as long with like 10 we were as 50. <laughs> but now they're efficient and we know how to do it. and. Okay. Hope that was helpful. Bye.